Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm so happy that we were able to make the first harvest of our fish that are raised in a circular tank. And a month ago, we made a video about this. We put some hundreds of fish in the circular tank. And you know that the circular tank is much easier to manage because the sediments of the tank will settle in the middle because we made the flooring of this in a funnel type shape that could easily you know, drain the sediments, meaning those toxic ways that are not good for the fish inside the tank we can just easily drain it and I'm so happy with the results because this goldfish are grown inside the tank in just a short period of time to be exact this is just two months old so this will give us the conclusion that the goldfish can even become a monster like the Japanese koi if this is given in a right environment well you may have wondered why we only have harvested this much the reason is that this tank had leaks and actually I transferred majority of the fish in the other circular pond leaving only some hundreds of them and I'm so shocked that they have grown this big and we are about to bring this to the pet store of course these are for sale because this is the nature of our business selling fish and growing them and then breeding growing and selling these are the you know the cycle and I've been doing this for the past 20 years and I started this with humble beginnings I just had this in you know, a wooden tank I used this refrigerators in order for us to be able to really breed our fish now we have this concrete tanks in a circular shape and with a funnel type flooring so we will now put this inside the plastic bags and we will bring this to the pet shop So we have good shapes of this goldfish. Each of this, of course, will be sold already at around five to ten dollars. So the biggest of this is going to be sold at you know ten dollars or five hundred pesos, and that's gonna be fine. I mean, we got an income out of this hobby, so we will put some oxygen and of course I would just like to mention the process of the harvest well first is we have to do the harvest early in the morning where the temperature is just very low the second is that when we are going to put the goldfish or the, the, the fish for that matter inside this container it should have this uh, powerful you know blower in order for them to survive because if we're gonna overstack them here in this very small tank without oxygen, of course, they will instantly die. And maybe some of them will not die, but they will develop this internal ble bleeding that will collapse their internal organs. So we have to preserve the lives of this because it's the live fish that we are selling. And many of us committed mistakes, especially during the harvest. So we will refrain from stressing our fish because they will certainly develop this uh, internal bleeding out of the so much stress that they have undergone during the harvest. I'm feeding now 
our you know koi here and they look very you know healthy they are growing fast and there's so much delight in my heart when I'll see this you know development this is actually a milestone that we were able to you know grow our fish in a controlled environment a very small tank and there are thousands of them that are here and of course the process is to clean up the water every day on a daily basis we are opening the gate valve and draining all the toxic waste that are here and i would like to make a demonstration uh, how this is done actually i i have here a manhole and this manhole has uh, this cover of course and ouch I will open this one because they're eating and I'm quite uh, confident and you know sure that they will not be stuck in here because they are on the surface they're eating their food so I'll just open this one and it will drain the water uh, ah, see you see the dirt this is the dirt coming out you see that and if we will not clean this one this will cause bacteria and our fish will die because they will contract diseases really i'm very sure of that that is why this is really very important there is a funnel type shape connected to this tube and there's a manhole here you can open this one and it's working good for us and we are doing this on a daily basis daily means every morning why early in the morning because the fish will certainly surface every you know cold temperature when the temperature is really cold this fish will you know surface it's opportunity for us to drain the the water so this is it we have to close this one now and you see look at that no fish had been drained out from the tank i can see the there are leaves right here. These are the sediments that I'm talking about. Oh, see? See? These are the dirt. And if you're doing this on a regular basis, you can be assured that the health of your goldfish will just be fine. It will just be perfect. Because there is no issue about the contamination of the water. Instead of using the overhead filter, I decided to adopt this method because it's more convenient and very easy to manage aside from we will not be you know undergoing the tedious task of cleaning this filter buckets we will just drain the water and then everything will be okay i'm still not able to make a good cage of our zebra finches but for this week that's gonna be our mission we have to make a breeding cage and i decided to just make a colony cage for this and adapt the system of the colony breeding and the issue about the inbreeding would soon also be addressed because we're going to be making some codings among the babies but these are good breeders of different lines that's why i'm confident to breed them in colony and all the babies that they're going to produce will be separated so this is my way of ensuring that there will be no inbreeding that will happen. And also, I would like to make some, you know, celebration. Why? Because there are so many babies that are here in the nest boxes. I can see that there are eight babies that are about to also be weaned in a few weeks time from now and i'm so happy about this because we already have produced more than 30 and uh, we just started with four pairs and it's uh, doing good for us actually i am so glad that this birds can just easily be you know be be multiplied if you will just put some attention and of course uh, you will be observant about the health issues you will give vitamins and all this you know supplements like this moringa this uh, water spinach and 
even the cattle bones are really very important even if you won't give them this you know synthetic vitamins that can be you know bought in the market you will just use the natural and this is going to be the best you know diet that you can give to your birds the african lovers are also multiplying a lot that i can see many babies also inside the nest boxes and this is the kind of life that i enjoyed you know if you are able to produce if you're able to breed and make money out of your, your hobby is the ultimate thing that happened in my life i don't desire many things what i desire is just a simple life with my pets and some animals that's all that we can share and if it's your first time to you know stumble upon this channel i would like to ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos which are really very informative inspiring and educational videos we don't keep secrets we all reveal the good and even the bad practices that we have experienced and i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world